हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम ऑल टू विष्णु एस फ्री क्रैश कोर्स फॉर प्लिम्स लेक्चर 17 टुडे सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे द टॉपिक इज सीक्रेसी ऑफ बैलेट सीक्रेसी ऑफ बैलेट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट रिसेंटली गेव द जजमेंट इट इज द प्रिविलेज इट इज द राइट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल to keep it as a secret for whom he is going to vote or she is going to vote the secrecy of vote the secret my vote my secret my vote my right my vote my privilege supreme court has delivered its judgment on secrecy of ballot supreme court said secrecy of ballot is a cornerstone of free and fair elections important postulates of constitutional democracy a voter can also voluntarily waive the privilege of non disclosure yes why i have to disclose it is my privilege this is my vote i if you want to disclose i will disclose if i won't disclose it's up to me so the secrecy of the ballot the supreme court revealed it it is the constitutional right of any voter not to disclose section 94 of the representation of people act 1951 the privilege of the voter to maintain the confidentiality about his or her choice of vote the supreme court delivered it yes the secrecy of the ballot i am not going to reveal my vote whom i am going to vote that is my secrecy my constitutional right my privilege the supreme court reiterated it you have to write in this this secrecy of ballot under which law of the country means representation of people act 1951 it is not a constitution it is provided in the legislation called representation of people's act 1951 the next topic is garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan what is this garib kalyan rozgar yojana mainly rozgar abhiyan mainly dealing about mainly discuss about those immigrant workers who left their workplace and went to their native places so in their native places we need to provide them work so in order to provide the work to the native places to the migrant workers who went to their native places a government of india came up with a scheme called as garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan aim to boost livelihood opportunities in rural india amid ongoing covid crisis the first priority is meet the first priority is to meet the immediate requirement of workers who have gone back to their native places because of the covid crisis they cannot stay in delhi they cannot stay in lucknow they cannot stay in hyderabad hence they went to their native places so in native places we need to guarantee them employment in order to guarantee them employment in the native places for the immigrant workers garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan by providing them with livelihood opportunities focus is also on rural citizens through common service centers and krishi vigyan kendras implementation by different 12 different ministries including rural development panchayati raj road transport highways mines drinking water sanitation environment railways petroleum and new and renewable energy border roads telecom and agriculture implementing in six states what are those six states prelims point of view very very important this prime minister garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan bihar uttar pradesh bihar uttar pradesh madhya pradesh rajasthan odisha and jharkhand these are the six states which are covered under this particular program 11616 116 districts for six states 67 lakh migrants were been focused to provide them employment under garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan which is also called as prime minister garib kalyan rozgar abhiyan the next intercropping intercropping if you see one crop is there another crop is there another crop is there intercropping between crops paddy wheat maize intercropping different types of croppings those are called as intercropping prelims point of view very important what is important i will be telling what is intercropping cultivation of two or more crops simultaneously on the same field to produce a greater yield on a given piece of land use of resource of ecological processes so in order to make output out of the available soil make output of, uh, from the available resources make output from the available ecological conditions this intercropping is a very good solution how so there are different approaches are there mixed cropping row crop row cropping relay intercropping 
strip intercropping one by one i will explain prelims point of view important this mixed intercropping means two or more crops intermixed and been cultivated that is called as mixed intercropping two or more crops are planted in a mix without any distinct row management all are mixed and they have been cultivated mixed cropping row intercropping one crop one row one crop another row another crop another row another crop two or more crops are planted in distinct distinct rows relay intercropping relay we you know relay races one person will go he will put and another person will catch and he will go relay intercropping two or more crops are grown at the same time as part of the life cycle of each that is the second crop is sown after the first crop has been well established but before it reaches its harvesting stage so that means we will be we will be we will we will be planting different crops so by the time it get harvested we will be again planting it again by the time it get harvested again we will be planting here in that way intercropping will be happening as a relay as a as a relay see, yearly basis on total yearly rotation the cropping will be happening for different different crops that is relay intercropping strip intercropping growing two or more crops at the same time in separate strips wide enough apart from independent like this one strip maize soya bean oats so separate strip this is called as strip intercropping for the sake of protection of fertility of the soil in order to efficiently use the water this intercrop is more efficiently used advantage of intercropping more efficient use of light water and other nutrient resources which are available in the soil effective management of cover crops increased crop yields per unit area improved soil fertility reduced soil aeration lowered soil surface evaporation so intercropping one crop another crop another crop one crop another crop another crop another crop intercropping which is a very good solution for agriculture sector in india covifor what is this covifor a medicine a medicine compulsory one or two questions will be from covid 19 in your prelims october 4th 2020 remember this covifor what is this it is an antiviral it is an antiviral remdesivir for treatment of covid 19 drug controller general of india has recently given its nod to drug maker hetero to launch this new drug it is the second such drug to enter the indian market after fabiflu by glenmark which came a day earlier mainly to treat the covid 19 yes covi4 this is the covi4 from hetero pharmaceuticals of hyderabad golden langur this is the golden langur the beautiful langur the golden langur primate this is one of the primate primate golden langur primatologists have observed that geese golden langur induce still births of babies killing inside the womb of females besides practicing infanticide forced abortions and infanticide happen when a new male takes when a new male takes over he often kills the baby of a lactating female or hits the ab- abdomen of a female impregnated by the deposed male till the point of abortion see not only in human beings in privates also we have such acts so this is a situation which is also replicated in animals so you have to, how you can remember i am telling you, golden langur is such example like a man where if there is a there is a killing of the babies obstructions such as wives and gaps in the forest due to felling have increased the threat of inbreeding among golden langurs so what you have to remember about this langurs is semi evergreen and mixed deciduous forests are good for their growth found in small regions of western assam and in the neighboring foothills of black mountains of bhutan so it is present in eastern himalayas golden langurs are present in eastern himalayas protection status schedule one species in the wildlife protection act compulsory need to be protected violation of this protection of this animals will lead to severe penalty under wildlife protection act 1972 why because golden langur is present in schedule one of the wildlife protection act 
endangered species again golden langur is endangered species according to iucn red list this year census would not be completed due to the covid-19 lockdown every year we are been doing the census of this golden langurs but this year we are unable to do the counting of golden langur so prelims point of view what you have to remember prelims point of view endangered species schedule 1 of wildlife protection act and there is female infanticide which is happening in infanticide which is happening in golden langurs where they are located in the eastern himalayas means assam bhutan arunachal pradesh side of india thank you please subscribe to our channel